Virgo, what's the word, my loves? What is the word for May 2019? Hello, hello, hello. Shout out to all my new subscribers and thank you to everyone who has clicked this video. It is Scorpion Red Tarot and I am back at it again. Yes, indeed, for my lovely, lovely Virgos. We're going to find out what's the word for you today for the month of May, all right? Um, if there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by clicking that About tab. What you need to do is book and then link, okay? Book and then link. Click that link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Book the reading that you want, and then what you need to do is double back to the YouTube page, and you need to link me up so we can connect with each other for the video reading, okay? So my Instagram link is right under the booking link on that about tab you can send me a message on instagram and we can connect there on the video chat on the date and time that you scheduled if i can fit you in earlier we'll communicate about that and i'll try to get you in earlier okay um if you don't have instagram or you don't feel comfortable with using instagram you can download google hangouts it's a very easy app to download only thing you need is my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com send me a message and we can do the video chat there now if you want to recap video if you want to record the whole session and you want a private link to the video um you can pay an additional ten dollars you'll see it says um ten dollar video recap so after you purchase your video just add that in and you can get a video recording that you can look at over and over again about our session um and also if you don't feel comfortable with getting on camera i prefer to only do face-to-face -face video chats but i understand some people do not feel comfortable with getting on camera what you need to do is book your reading and purchase the um the video recap so you can get your direct upload to youtube your private upload and then send me your communication you know have on instagram or google hangouts and then send me what you want to know don't tell me your situation only what you want to know and then i'm gonna record i'm gonna upload it and then we can go from there but just keep in mind we won't be able to converse back and forth all like that like how we would if it was a face-to-face -face video chat um if this video resonates and you want to send some love to the page thanks to one of my wonderful wonderful ingenious clients um she told me um another option other than the paypal so if you guys want to you know just send some love um in form of paypal you can do so my paypal link is in the description as well as the about tab or if you want to um check out my amazon wish list which has a lot of whole bunch a whole bunch of wonderful decks and things that i i really really would like to get um you guys can check that out and you know possibly send some love that way so if you want to send love um both my amazon wish list and my paypal information is both in the description and on the about tab all righty virgo let's get into the reading <sighs> okay Thank you, Father God, for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. I keep, I just kept hearing enlightenment, enlightenment. Um, thank you for the enlightenment. Thank you so much for the for the growth. Uh, thank you for moving mountains for us that we didn't have the ability to move. Um, thank you for teaching us how to stand up for ourselves, and you know, not even just how to stand up for ourselves. We know how to stand up for ourselves, but it's just some, you know, we're just very kind-hearted people it's just we don't want to but what we're learning in 2019 is not to allow people to push us where our back is all the way up against the wall and we just you know come out swinging like a whole monster like you know what i'm saying like people don't really feel like we got that in us and we do but it's just like why y'all want to play with us like that? Why you want to push my back up again? Why you want me to hurt? You know what I'm saying? Like, so what Virgo is learning is not to let people push them like that. You know what I'm saying? Before it even get there to just nip it in the bud and start standing up for themselves before people could even push them at all. You know, stepping into their power. And I feel like they feel a light and they feel more powerful. You know, it's just... It's just a different feeling right now. So I thank you so much for all of the enlightenment and us stepping into our glow. Like we stepping into our glow, especially at springtime, Father. Come on now. 
please give us guidance for the sign of Virgo. Um, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you so much for hugging on us. Thank you so much for carrying us on your back when you know we were too tired to walk, Father God. Thank you for giving us nourishment. Thank you for every day that you wake us up and you allow us to open up our eyes and breathe fresh air and just have daily bread. Um, we just want to give thanks to you, Father God. And please give us guidance and continue to give us enlightenment and allow us to grow and, and, and show you and show ourselves better. Thank you so much. Virgo, what's the word for Virgo? Virgo, what's the word? Let's have flip over. Nope. It's a false flip. Got it for Virgo for me. Got it for Virgo for me. Is this another false flip? No. Direction. Yeah, direction. Direction. Well, this is a beautiful card. You're going in a beautiful direction. Come on. And those are spring flowers. Come on now. Come on now. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I told y'all y'all moving forward. Lord, please show me the right direction. Hold on. Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring me a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. Uh, may I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head in the wrong direction, stop me, Jesus. Come on now. Virgo was saying, Father God, please show me the right direction. Give me that enlightenment. Because I heard that, you know, I kept hearing enlightenment. It's like, show me, you know, it's like they need a miracle in their life right now. It's because it's like something happened where they got to move forward. They got to make a move. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I got to trust my intuition on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like something happened where they, I feel like Virgo just went off with their intuition on some shit. And it's like, you know what? King of Cups. All right now. Virgo type face. They hoping, like whatever they feeling, whatever they thinking and they feeling, they got their poker face on right now. Yo, mm -hmm. They got their poker face on right now. Because something happened. They feel like somebody tried to fuck with their coin. And Virgo done call God on somebody. <laughs> oh, yeah, they in the y'all. Y'all. Virgo done call God on somebody. And said, God, these people up here fucking with my coins. Okay? And it could have been the king of wands. This is this not about no love. This is about somebody fucking with, with, with Virgo's new beginning. And they're like, nah, motherfuckers about to pay for this shit. Because you know what? I'm going to walk away. But motherfuckers going to pay for this shit. Father, just give me, give me the right direction. Because, yeah. You going, you going at, yeah. Like I said, it's like, I feel like Virgo just walked away from some type of environment. It could have been like a church. It could have been a job. It could have been like a fraternity. It could be like some type of organization group, like a biker's club or, you know, like anything like that where it was like a group of like-minded people that gather together, you know what I'm saying, over a particular mindset, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So with this King of Cups, Virgo, I feel like Virgo... Is dealing with Virgo is dealing with some shit right now where they feel like people play like people playing with my fucking emotions and playing with my money is like fucking with my emotions. 
like on some real ass shit. And I know a lot of people think that I'm sensitive and I'm real kind and gentle. See, that's where a lot of people get shit fucked up with Virgo because they think that Virgos are very quiet and very like soft spoken and kind of just chill and reserved. Like they don't really do too much. They not real raw, raw, real boasty, real go hard. They just be on some like chill ass, cool ass type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Or some old lover man, Mr. Lover Lover. Mm, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Virgo don't want to take your bitch on a low type of shit like that. Like, Virgo just be on some chill ass, you know, cool, cool cat daddy ass shit. And I feel like there's some underlying level of jealousy. It's something, something here in regards to a king of wands because this might have to do something with, like, I have a work or like a club or something like that where and I'm, I'm I'm thinking it's work or it's like someone got in the way because it's like Virgo was like when the fuck are y'all about to hand me my cup like you know what I'm saying like you see how the cup is up there like they ain't hand Virgo the cup yet and like Virgo they they they're trying to like hold tight to their emotions and not show what they feeling because if they show what they was feeling like they would pop the fuck off on some shit you know what I'm saying so they trying to keep their poker face on but people is playing with their investments people is playing with their money people is playing with them able to advance to the next stage in their future and you know Virgo was like you know. Oh, fuck no, because y'all don't know who y'all playing with for real, but it's okay. I got other people to fight my battles. Jesus. Because, like, I don't want these people, because, yeah, because somebody about to get the shit smacked out of them. So, look, this what's going on. And, like, please call these people to judgment because, like, um, yeah, I had to walk away because I was about to, yeah. I feel like something happened with Virgo was, like, slim. I'm about to step the fuck off before I come through this bitch like the Green Reaper and add all y'all out in this bitch. Because y'all don't know who the fuck y'all playing with in here. For real, for real. And you playing with my money. Or you 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 getting in the way of me getting this raise. You getting in the way of me getting this new um business opportunity or this new house. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the, like, oh no, see, yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me walk across y'all graves because I'm going to let God deal with you. <laughs> okay so someone is being a risen because Virgo walked away from something so they ain't had to fuck somebody up and these people think that they got away with some shit you know what I'm saying and they, they just rested and everything cool no everything ain't cool everything ain't cool you being a risen from the dead to call and answer for some shit that you did to Virgo that you knew you ain't had no business in because Virgo said no 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 I ain't gonna play with you I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let the Lord deal with you because the Lord gonna get you better than I can get you and I'm gonna sit over here and watch yeah uh huh I'm gonna trudge my horse right over top of your grave fuck out of here I ain't, I'm gonna kill you with kindness I'm gonna let the Lord deal with you and you gonna have to deal with your own energy because I'm not the one to play with like that okay this King of Wands I feel like this King of Wands possibly was jealous because this king of wands um i feel like worked very hard you know what i'm saying the king of wands is a very hard worker and things like that but at the same time the king of wands can kind of slack off and get distracted by other shit so it's like they'll come to work or they'll come to the organization or whatever it is with a whole bunch of ideas and a whole bunch of like they're real passionate and they're real fiery about whatever it is and they'll start at eight o'clock but by like 10 15 they already you know, their flame is worn down and they over there macking up on some bitches and doing other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they always, instead of being consistently there, they just in and out, in and out, in and out. And whereas though, they've been there a long time and they work hard. Like, they were kind of known for being a slacker, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Whereas though, you know, to Virgo put their heart into their work. You know what I'm saying? Like, they weren't over there, like, really chatting it up and like having it up and stuff like that Virgo come to work I don't even think Virgo talked to a whole bunch of people Virgo put his heart into his work a lot of people like like him because he's a likable character you see what I'm saying 
and he's solid. Like he's he's a good person. He's a good person. And this person was jealous of that. And like I said, Virgo walked away from this organization. They walked away from this job. They walked away from being um, you know, one of the directors on a committee. They, you know, you know, maybe a dishonorable, I mean, got a honorable or just asked to be discharged from the military, something. You see what I'm saying? But I really do feel like it could be a work or it could possibly, I don't know, this could be like a, um, a, a gay relationship. It could be a king of cups and he's dating the king, king of wands. And it's just like this beginning, like we, we, I was promised a new beginning here. You know what I'm saying? I was promised something solid, something that would last forever. Like these two were probably married with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like they got married. You see the two men here in front of the um Pope? You know what I'm saying? I feel like these two men were married. They were, they were supposed to be committed. And this King of Cups, he was there. He was doing what he was supposed to do. And he's waiting for you to give him the love and return. That, you know what I'm saying? That he's been giving you. But the cup ain't never, like, really fully reached him. You know? And, and, and Virgo's like, like, look, God forgive me. Like, I really did think that, you know, we could have a family here. And, you know, that I could resurrect, you know, this beginning, this new beginning with this person. But I'm just ready for this to end. I'm just ready for this to end. I don't want to do this. And, like, this King of Cups could be a Scorpio. This King of Cups could be a Scorpio or could be a Cancer Pisces. Um... Yeah, I mean, it can ever whoever these people are that's dealing with Virgos, it could be just people just embodying the energy of a Cancer, uh, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio or um, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But there was one that put their heart into the situation, and there was one that was in and out that presented themselves as a false king. And Virgos, like, I don't want to be with you anymore, I want a divorce. I'm moving forward in another direction. So, it's like, I thought that we were, no, I thought we were going to have a family. I thought that we were going to be committed to it. You know what I'm saying? Give me additional guidance. Hope. Okay, you got hope. Transformation. Yeah, it's definitely a Scorpio that Charlie's dealing with. Most definitely a Scorpio. Solar plexus. You okay? You just trying to get your material and your and your spiritual shit together because I feel like this shit kind of fucked you up a little bit, but you still have hope. And I feel like you you do still have your faith is still strong. Your faith is still strong, but you just trying to spiritually build yourself back up because this shit knocked you off balance. What does this say? Partnerships and alliance. There was yeah, there was a break in this partnership and an alliance. You know what I'm saying? Virgo still has a lot of hope in regards to the future. Like they're not letting this situation break them at all. They're not letting it break them. That's why they're taking that direction. Okay, they're transforming. They're turning around who they are yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Who they who who they was yesterday is not who they are today. They still got a lot of hope towards the future. And their solar plexus, they know exactly what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? They know exactly what they want to do. They know who they are. You know what I'm saying? They know what they see for the future. They still have love in their heart. They know what they feel. Like, all of their chakras are balanced for the most part. We just working a little bit on this root chakra right here because... I feel like material and spiritual prosperity is something that Virgo is having to rebuild after this situation right here because I feel like this person used Virgo's spirituality and the fact that like I feel like I feel like um Virgo on a 
on a very deep level is is it's spiritual and believes in faith and believes in divine time and believes all of that stuff and i feel like this king of wands came around like yeah you know all of that yeah blah 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 woo 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 like they were on on the same type of shit. You see what I'm saying? Like they were on the same type of sh like they were on the same type of shit. But honestly, it was all like a it was. I feel like this um, King of Wands kind of kind of fed the King of Cups whatever the King of Cups wanted to hear, whatever the King of Cups wanted to believe to fill their heart. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what broke this partnership and alliance, you know? So I definitely feel like this might be um, a homosexual couple, like a gay couple. Like two men or either two... I mean, even though it's two men here, I feel like it could be either two, we two men or two women. You know what I'm saying? Or just a woman stepping into, like, the King of Cups energy... And kind of like using her masculine energy. You know how like men can kind of wall someone out. Or you know like a cancer man. How a cancer man once he feel people moving funny around him. How he can just kind of go in his shell and wall people out like that. That's what this Virgo woman did to this king of cup. I mean to this king of wands. You know what I'm saying? Because she had to boss up and kind of meet him with his kind of masculine energy here. You know what I'm saying? Like... Uh-uh, you know, because the situation threw, threw the Virgo off balance and threw them off balance. And what is it saying? Yeah, there wasn't a triumphant success here. But like I said, Virgo, their chakras are good, though. Their chakras are good. Their heart is still thriving and pumping. Like Virgo ain't letting no one get in the way of <clears throat> it's no it's not letting no one get in the way of them still feeling like they can love and move forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still moving forward. I'm still moving in the direction that I want. I know what I want. It just ain't work out with you. But that don't mean that I don't deserve it. That's why Virgo said, I'm not about to sit here and fight with you. I'm about to just go to God and just be like, look, this ain't working because so-and-so is doing whoop, whoop, whoop. You know? This person tried to break my heart, but they didn't. It just wasn't successful, and it threw me off balance. You know what I'm saying? And I just wasn't able to use my third eye chakra to see that this was a false partnership and alliance. And it unrooted me a little bit, and that's why I'm coming to you, God. And I'm just, like, asking, like, you know, Lord, please show me the right actions right now. Please bring me a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. Those chakras that you've got the fuck together. Come on now. And if for some reason I'm about to head in the wrong way, stop me abruptly. Okay? Tell me how Virgo feels. Virgo says, Carmen's a bitch and I finally got mine. They felt like this whole situation dealing with this person was a sitting Carmen was a bitch and they finally got this. They just got caught up in the moment with this person. And they really, I, I want to say they believe the fairy tale that this could be something. I care too much about what others think about me right now. Everybody is, in 2019, people are caring. Because, you know, we can be in this kind of I don't give a fuck mode sometimes. Where it's like, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. I just got sidetracked. I, yep, mm-hmm. Virgo feels like. This person that they're dealing with, you know, that it was a karmic situation to teach them, you know, right and wrong, good and bad. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like it was just a bad judgment on them to get involved with this person because they feel like they should have seen from jump for maybe some signs that was shown in the beginning with this Ace of Pentacles when the shit just really didn't. It's like the Ace of Pentacles was there, but it ain't feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, this is supposed to be a new solid, you know, prosperous beginning here, but it just ain't feel like it. Like, why I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, once that shit, and, 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 it, and once you really weren't trying to hand me my cup and shit like that, I'm like, hold on, what? This other person is telling Virgo, Virgo inspired, inspired them. Okay? 
Virgo feels like that they this was a karmic tie, a karmic lesson that they uh they just got caught up in the moment with this person. They really care about how people look at them now. And they feel like they just got sidetracked and they just got off balance with this relationship. And they try to commit themselves into something that. And this person says, Virgo inspires them, but they don't know how to feel anymore. This person don't know how to feel anymore. I got spooked. This person got into this. Like, I feel like this. When they met Virgo, just the way Virgo love and just the way Virgo. Y'all know how Virgo is. Like. A Virgo will do anything for you if they love you. You know what I'm saying? And all of that got this person so far gone in their inspiration and where they could see things going with this relationship with Virgo that they forgot that they were this king of bronze. Like, they really believed in their self that they could, like, truly commit and really try to find some balance and... The things would be prosperous, things would grow, and they would have longevity and shit like that. But they just, they can't help but to be who the fuck they are. It says, I know more affected. Oh, I'm more affected than you know. This person says that they're more affected by this Virgo, like, deadness shit. Deadness shit. It says, I looked you up online and seen what you've been up to. So, since the separation, this person is more affected. They got spooked by this level of commitment. And, you know, Virgo ins inspired them to do and try to commit and, and, and be in a way that they, that was outside of their nature. You know what I'm saying? But, this person, I feel like. Virgo holds a very soft spot in their heart, even if they're not together. And they still look to see what Virgo is doing. I feel like they just want Virgo to be happy. They just, they look to see if Virgo is happy. Because I feel like they just want the best for Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like they, they feel like they threw Virgo off. You know what I'm saying? Like, Virgo's a good person. Virgo's a good person. And it's like, Virgo could have... Really got down nasty with this person for the shit that was done, you know. But Virgo didn't do that. Like Virgo just said, you know, fuck this shit. I'm just, I'm just walking away. I'm just divorcing. Like I'm not, I'm not about to sit here and do all this shit. I'm not about to sit here and get ignorant or embarrass myself. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like Virgo was like not about to embarrass themselves. They gave a fuck about what people think. They're not about to sit here and do all this internet bullshit. Not nah, uh -uh. <laughs> The Virgo said to summon his mind, bitch. <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to the summer. I'm not taking this person off of mute. I feel like Virgo muted somebody or blocked somebody because they feel like the victim in this situation. But Virgo, I want you to. I don't want you to walk forward feeling like no victim. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot to look forward in the summer. And I don't want you to carry that energy into the summer. Because you going to attract the wrong type of people with that energy. I want you to have free, clear energy. Um, yeah, third party. Mm-hmm. You feel like a victim to a third party with someone that you thought was your soulmate. You thought that this was your soulmate. But they had you up in a third party situation. And you feel a victim to that bullshit. And you like, fuck that shit. I'm not taking you off a of mute, bitch. The summer is mine. I ain't worried about you. The fuck you thought this shit was? <laughs> What's going on in the shadows? What is the things that Virgo need to deal with in the shadows? You know, to help them get out of this victim. Because, so, yeah, someone was cheating. Oh, that's a lot, brother. Really? Really? It really, I feel like something else was turned over. No. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> Virgo is trying to fight the verge to feel vengeful. Like, this third party shit right here, I, I'm trying to tell you, it took everything in Virgo not to really... 
Because people think that Virgo will not pop off and knock a bitch fucking fronts out. Like, but Virgo will, like, Virgo will knock your whole shit loose. Do you hear me? It took everything in Virgo not to knock your shit off. Do you hear me? That's why Virgo said, let me get this to God and get the fuck away from this King of Wands because I'm going to fuck this nigga up. This, this person is beyond misguided because if they think for a fact that I will not rise the fuck up out this chair and knock your shit off your neck, you got me fucked up. You, <laughs> you beyond irresponsible and I can't do that. I can't do that. Listen, this is someone that could not commit to this responsibility. And Virgo was like, I'm not about to do that. Uh-uh, no. Uh-uh. I feel you looking at me. Okay? So I feel like they've been looking at Virgo and Virgo's been looking at them. Virgo, you need to stop. You need to stop. You know? Because... I feel like it's some shit that you want to say to this person, but you too scared to say it. But you you looking and I feel like you really kind of want to like blow on this person and just be like, you fuck me. <laughs> like you just want to blow on this person because I feel like you are now building yourself up and you're bringing yourself out of this level of insecurity that this person had you in due to this third party. OK, but you're not. Feeling like you having to guard and protect your, your mind and your thoughts right now because you are focused on moving in a new direction. You know, you are focused on that and it's like, I don't have to guard myself from this no more because I feel like it was a lot of mental and emotional abuse here. You know what I'm saying? Where it, because when you lower someone down to a point where they feeling insecure and they, they, they cowardly, you know what I'm saying? Where they want to. No, 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 no. They're fighting that. They're like, you're not going to make me feel this way no more. Nobody is going to make me feel this way no more. That's why I'm moving in this new direction. And I'm not going to have to guard or protect myself from people like you. Because the way I'm elevating myself and the way I'm evolving, I'm not even going to attract people like you in my life. Because you're nonsense. That's what you are. A whole bunch of fucking nonsense. Exactly. That's why you thought I was going to be available to you. I'm extra double unavailable to you. I will never be available to you again, okay? I will not allow you to haunt my life. I will not know. I feel like Virgo has even gone to the point where they went to God and they said, not only do I want to divorce this person, please break this soul tie cord. Break this shit. Break it. Because I thought this was my soulmate and it wasn't. I'm not carrying none of this energy with me in this new direction. Break that shit. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. You know, none of that shit. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't even want that shit on my mind. I want a complete soul tie break. Okay? I'm I'm about to play my cards and be elusive. This motherfucker ain't going to be able to find me. Ain't going to be able to feel me spiritually. None of that shit. Fuck out of here. Okay? This motherfucker is unstable. And I don't want to hear nothing that this bitch got to say. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I don't want to hear no un unstable ass motherfucking excuses about, oh, I did all this. I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck. Uh-uh. I can't do this with you no more. You understand? This is robotic because I feel like this person done shit before. And before that time they did that shit. They, I mean, they done did it again and again and again and again and again. And then I, uh -uh, I'm not going to keep going through this shit with you. You are not worth it. Okay. When I was in this relationship with you, I felt pitiful. I don't feel like that no more. You're pitiful. You're beyond pitiful. Okay? And I'm moving. That's why I divorced you. Because you're not worth my energy. You're not worth being attached to my spirit. Nothing. You don't deserve nothing from me. So if you think you're getting something in this divorce, you're getting nothing. You're getting nothing but a wet ass. That's it. That's it. Nothing. Because I'm not about to play with you. Virgo not having it, yeah. Someone played and they played and they, they, they and they played wrong. Study long, study wrong, my nigga. <laughs> study.
study long, study wrong. You thought Virgo was about to sit there and deal with that shit while you out there running around in the streets doing whatever. You went out on one of your adventures and you thought when you came back this time that Virgo was going to be in the house with did it made and everything like Virgo. Because the King of Wands, I mean, I mean, not the King of Wands, the King of Cups is, is a very chivalrous man. Like this man takes care. You know what I'm saying? They take care of you emotionally. And they, they, thought that, <laughs> they thought that this King of Cups was going to be there. And they got home and they found a vacant ass goddamn apartment. Like, where the fuck all my shit go? Where did the King of Cups go? Where did this Scorpio, this Cancer, this Pisces go? Um, to You ain't gonna be able to find them in the white pages. I don't know what you're gonna do. But they gone. Okay? Yeah, the Three of Cups was some cheating. God damn it. This situation involved the third party. Virgo ain't stupid. A page of wands. They found these messages of you texting and messaging this person. They found this shit. They found these messages that was disrespecting the union and the love that y'all had. They seen it. They seen it with their own eyes. So like Virgo don't want to hear nothing that you want to that you got to say. Like they seen it. They seen the pictures. They seen the fucking evidence. What the fuck can you say? What can you say? You was emotionally fulfilled somewhere else. So what the fuck can you say? What? I ain't got the strength to sit here and do this shit with you. So regardless if you want to stall me moving forward, you can't stall my direction. What is for me is for me. You can't get in the way of what God got for me, baby. You want me to deal with this unconventional relationship ass bullshit, but you want me to deal with your fucking cheating and your bullshit or whatever while you out there being emotionally fulfilled with other motherfuckers. And I feel like it might be, especially if it was somebody that was in a gay relationship. Like, I feel like this, whoever this man was, the king of, the king of, the knight of, yeah, the king of wands in reverse, might was cheating on you with a woman. And you was like, oh, if you want to be there, go motherfucker, be, go do that. I know when I was with you, I was true though. Fuck you mean? What you mean? You out there giving your cup to somebody else and I'm 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 waiting and trying to figure out why you were stalling giving me your cup because you out here giving it to bitches? Fuck you. And that's why I feel like Virgo was, you know, looking to trying to figure out where the fuck my husband been at. Fuck you mean. Ooh, like I'm irritated. No, y'all, like, cause I'm mad. I'm mad, y'all, cause y'all don't get it. Like, when I be in these energies, like, I feel everything y'all feel, young. And I'm just like, nah, cause y'all got me fucked up, young. Oh, God. Y'all mean right now. I told God, I said, look, God, I did everything I was supposed to do. I did everything I was supposed to do. I seen this, and, and he, he's still out there right now. He ain't been home all weekend. Nah. God was like, don't worry, I got you, boo. Go home and rest. Go home and rest. Cry. Purge, because that's cleansing. Cry, purge it out. Pack your shit, whatever you can fit in your duffel bag, or whatever little bags that you can pack in your car. Hurry up, get that shit in there, because you know this motherfucker going to be home by 6.30. And we up out of there. I'm going to, uh... Just, just worry. Just don't worry. Just get in your car and just start driving. Get in your car and start driving. Make sure you're not too emotional crying on that shit. I need you to get all that emotion and shit out. I need you to purge it and be cleansed before you walk out that door. Because when we get in this car, you ask me to send you a sign of miracle. You don't even know where your direction is headed. Don't worry. Just listen. I'm going to send you a message. Just keep driving. And whatever your intuition is guiding you which way you go, north, south, east, west, whatever, just go. You know what I'm saying? Just go. I'm going to send you a message. I'm going to send you a miracle. I'm going to send you a miracle. Ain't, what you, ain't that what you asked? Send me a miracle? It says, Lord, this was your prayer to the Lord. It says, Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring me a sign, a miracle that gives me clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head in the wrong direction, stop me. 
Virgo followed the fuck out of their intuition. They was in a gray area that they overcame because this is in the reverse. So you got the fuck out of this shit. Gray means depressed, detached, unemotional. You got your ass out of this goddamn gray area with this motherfucker. You said, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. What is this? 999. Profound lessons are at hand. Completions of this cycle is near. This was... Well, I don't read this in reverse. I don't read this in reverse. I don't read these ones in reverse. You may be seeing a lot of nine, nine, nines or just a lot of nines, period. You know what I'm saying? So this means that profound lessons are at hand. A completion of a cycle is near. You understand? And I feel like with that being in reverse, I feel like you've completed the cycle. Like you, you learned the lesson and you learned the lesson and you're in your house. You're sitting on your bed. You just kind of still right now. Just tears running down your face. Just thinking. You know what I'm saying? Just thinking. And you're like, all right. It's time to go. You know what I'm saying? And I see somebody in like a white tee and some sweatpants and some Jordans or some shit. With fat ass too. Goddamn fat ass. Goddamn baby. Thicker than a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, because some shit got revealed to you. You can see everything now. And you listen, you got your hair up in a high, little, little loose bond. You got your white tee on, your sweatpants and shit. With your fat little booty looking like Judy. And your, and your goddamn uh, Jordan's on. I see three bags. Three bags. Three bags and a roller. A roller, um... A, a, a suitcase. And you got one bag... On top of the little handle of the suitcase. And then you're picking up two bags. And you're walking out of the door. And it's like your face is dry. It's like you're just standing there looking around at everything. And he was like, alright, it's time to go. And it's just like when you walk out of this door, you feel... Like so free. Like almost as you walk outside, like the sun hits your eyes. And it's just like kind of blinds you for a second. And you kind of put your hand up. And it's like when you look outside to the sky and the clouds, it's like so blue. And the, and, the, and the sky looks so clear. And it's just like this gust of like cool wind. Because it's just like such a beautiful springy ass day. And you like, I'm really fucking single. Like I'm single. It like hits you. Like I'm free. You know what I'm saying? God, my voice just started shaking like I was going to cry. Like I'm free. I'm free. I got sidetracked. I don't even know where I'm going. I just know that I feel free. I just know I feel good. And this shit that I got in my bag, that shit is cool, but I'm about to get rid of this shit too because when I get where I'm going, I'm going to wear this shit for like a couple of months. But in this new environment that I, I'm at, I don't want none of these old cold, uh, clothes or none of this shit. My car cool. But I don't want nothing that reminds me of that shit. I got sidetracked. I got to get back on my shit. You know what I'm saying? Blue. <laughs> and I say the blue skies. Uh, and, uh, serenity. Tranquility. Peace. Y'all might be seeing a lot of butterflies. So if y'all see a lot of butterflies and shit when y'all just sitting there thinking, contemplating and shit, that's a sign from God, baby. Because it was a butterfly on the brain, too. What is this? Enchanted. You're not enchanted no more by that love. That shit has no more power over you. Nobody can work that magic in their power. And <laughs> they can't do that shit on you no more. Like, you feel so free. You know that meme that said, I rest easy knowing I, I go to bed every night and ain't got nobody cheating on me? Safe passage. You free to go, baby. You are free to go. God gonna send you a message. <laughs> God is going to send you a message that's going to be like, oh, shit, for real? That's why you did all this shit. I'm going there. Get the hell out of here. Like, oh, my God. You're going to be so happy that you got up and you took this direction. Because I think what God got, what I said, what God got for you, can't nobody get in the way of that shit. And when your intuition kicking and say, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, don't ever not listen to your intuition. You hear me? Because for some reason, I felt like 
a hierophant in reverse, that, that means like a non-traditional relationship. And that doesn't necessarily mean non-traditional relationship because it's a homosexual relationship. It's non-traditional because, motherfucker, we in a relationship and you cheating on me. Fuck you mean. Being in a committed relationship, that's that that's that's traditional. And I, I don't, man, I don't, I don't, I don't get into all of that. You understand what I'm saying? Well, love is fucking love, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. I hate when people be trying to make it seem like, oh, just because someone gay, uh, well, you should know, um, gay men and they be out there hoeing. No, they don't. Do you know how many fucking gay couples I know when they fucking love each other? These motherfuckers got kids. These, I mean, love, love each other. When you be around these motherfuckers, you be like, ew, like, can y'all chill the fuck out? They love each other and been with each other for fucking years. They ain't into no swinging shit. No, I hate when people try to put that bullshit out there about gay relationships. Stop that shit, mo. Fuck out of here. Ace of Wands. Listen, baby, Virgo, you got a brand new spot. Honey, brand new beginning in life, honey. What? Didn't I tell you? God said, check your email. Check your email, bitch. Check your email. Them heavy, them heavy burdens. Listen, them heavy burdens sparked a light bulb. In your head. You understand? Sometimes pressure creates the best diamonds and the best ideas that motherfuckers ever had in their life. Sometimes being under pressure creates a genius, bitch. Okay? A motherfucker was sitting somewhere and couldn't see in their own house and they invented the light bulb, bitch, under pressure. You better know what the fuck I'm talking about this goddamn moment. Listen, Virgo said ain't nobody about to sit up there and play puppet master with me, bitch. Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. Right? What y'all talking about out this motherfucker? What is y'all even saying to me? Three, look. Three of swords. Yeah, you broke my heart. I give you that. But you ain't about to fucking be thinking that you about to play puppet master with me and, and, and just pulling strings. and just, Get the fuck out of here. I ain't enchanted by you no more, bitch. What is this? The lovers. Okay? I am not losing my passion and my desire for love. And right now I'm loving the shit out of myself until God send me what is meant for me. God told me, check my email, bitch. Okay, the chariot. I'm moving forward triumphantly. Check your email, bitch. Okay? The three of cups celebration and community. God said, when I get to where I'm going, go to the bar. Celebrate. Okay? Get in the community. Get to know the people in your environment. Get to know your neighbors. Okay? Huh. Was it two of swords? All right. There was an indecision, and you might be still here, where you are not able to see, or you weren't able to see. But I get you. You see it now. Check your email, bitch. All right. Listen. Nine of cups. Where you going? It's going to be way more emotionally fulfilling than what you left. God moves mountains that we don't got the strength to move. When he moved mountains, he's creating a pathway to happiness, enrichment, joy, success. Okay? True survival of the fittest. Okay? All right? And everybody couldn't have just walked away like you did. Check your email, bitch. <laughs> Two of wands. Planning and decisions. Now that you done took that got them a uh, cloth over your eyes and you can see exactly what the fuck is popping off over here or oh, you planning so why you in this car you like oh bitch when i get there okay god said to go to this tavern and shit like that all right but before i go there i got these old clothes and shit i'm about to drop this shit off at the salvation army because i just checked my fucking bank account and i don't know where this money came from but there's about fifteen thousand dollars in my account that i don't know where the fuck that shit came from thank you god i don't know what you're doing you over here uh, performing miracles but before these motherfuckers realize that they don't put this fifteen thousand dollars in my account i'm about to go get me some clothes i'm about to go to um i'm about to go get my hair done real quick real quick go buy me some go stop at cvs go get me some you know something out you know just something real quick you know i ain't got no whole bunch of time and shit like that because i'm going to this tavern so i want to make sure that you know i got myself together because i'm going to this new town i don't know these people i just want to make sure that i'm presenting myself right and i'm excited you know what i'm saying like i'm excited you know what i'm saying like wish fulfillment wish fulfillment like <laughs> 
check your email, bitch. Don't be having no stomach. Check your email, bitch. Move, move, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Faster, don't get no speeded ticket. But faster, faster. Bala, bala, dance, bitch, dance, bitch. Because guess what? You dancing and you moving right into true love. New love. Okay? The Knight of Cups. And we are having an encounter over coffee, over some drinks, at a tavern, in a social environment. Three of Cups, right? You're around a whole bunch of friends, a whole bunch of new people, a bunch of colleagues, and yeah, yeah, you connecting with new people in a new safe environment, safe passage. Yeah. Guess what? Eight of Pentacles. Because you painting this brand new picture. You are not who you were yesterday. Oh, honey. Throughout that goddamn ride in that car, you ain't crying not one tear. If anything, you were crying tears of joy. You like, Father God, I don't know why I feel this tingling in my belly. I just feel lucky. I don't know. Like, you went and you got your hair cut and you colored it different like I feel like some people don't went motherfucking blonde or you don't like you went like a drastic like identity change or something like that like you painted a brand new picture and like you like you never thought that you would look cute with your hair cut short or like basically the people from your old town or wherever it was that you're from or they was they were I don't think that they would recognize you anymore because like whereas though maybe in the past you were scared to let your hair down or kind of... I feel like everything that you've ever wanted to be, this is who you are now. This is the three of wands in the reverse. You ain't waiting for nobody to send you no okay message that it's okay to move forward. You going on your intuition, that higher fine in reverse. You breaking away from... The society standards from the what the people normally do, what they typically think, you know, the direction that you would have normally went in. Nah, I showed y'all my whole new my, Check your email. I don't know who y'all bitches think y'all dealing with. Check your email, okay? Because I ain't that bitch that y'all know. I'm not. I'm not her. I'm not she. She's not me. Okay. I'm not who you thought I was. Who you thought I was. I got sidetracked from that person. And guess what? It was good. Because I wasn't meant to be that person no more. I had to go through this. To kick in the door and wave in the fofo. To show y'all motherfuckers I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that motherfucker. You pushed me to my perfection. You showed me exactly what I don't want. And what I'm better than. And I have the right to choose what I want in my life. And not be scared to take a new direction. Because God got my back. I, listen. <laughs> God got my back. I ain't even fight. I ain't arguing with no side slides. I ain't doing none of that shit. You want to be with my man? Have his dusty dick ass. Have them. Have them. <laughs> Baby. Well, I told you. This heartbreak. <laughs> you broke them strings. <laughs> this pressure, this burden. Birthed a brand new idea. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sparking a flame in something brand new. I'm moving. This heartbreak. <laughs> Open up my heart to real love and show me how to move forward and take a new direction and choose me. And when I did that, <laughs> and I took that veil off of my eyes and I stopped playing around with myself so I could see what the fuck was going on, I walked into emotional fulfillment. Because God told me I got safe passages now. I plot and I plan on that whole ride. I went and fixed myself up. I went and got myself looking good, smelling good, feeling good. Butterflies tingling in my stomach. They telling me something new about to pop off. And goddamn, look what I met in the goddamn bar. Look what I met in the coffee shop. 
just trying to give me some Starbucks with some sweatpants on, a white tee, some Jordans. I stopped at motherfucking Target. I went and got me some motherfucking spray. You know what I'm saying? I went and got me some gel, hit my edges up and shit like that, tighten my bun up and shit, put some liner and some lipstick on and shit. Just ran in the bar. Like shit, I'm moving. I'm just, I just moved here. I'm coming in here to get me something to eat and getting something to drink, and I'm about to go finish putting my shit. And I went in the bar, met all these new people, <laughs> these new people that love this new person that I am. They like my hair this way. They said, "Damn booty, <laughs> your booty fat as shit." Like you look on your eye. I'm so glad you ain't wait for nobody to tell you to get your ass up and move. Cause if you would have waited for this that message, we would have never met you. Shit, give me your number. Shit, we going. What you doing this weekend? Virgo, I wish you much blessings. Much blessings. Shout out to my Virgos. Check your email. I'm out.